We are watching the Chalvey Working Men's Club open and it's filmed in Slough in early December. And this is a opening round contest in the pairs tournament and it's between the pairing of Terry Stubbs and Alex Ball and they take on Dal Pilgrim and Cameron Crabtree. Now I do just have to apologise, the scorecard is just slightly out of sync uh, with the darts that are thrown in this one, so uh, apologies if that uh, spoils the surprise of whatever darts are thrown uh, in this match, but you get the idea. And uh, two pairings that uh, will have experience of teaming up before, uh, because Alex Ball and Stubbs are from the same Super League team in Slough and I presume they're playing out of their home venue here and that's a nice visit from Crabtree and we're just approaching that crucial time of year aren't we in December Dartmouth as players start to gear up towards Q School in mid-January and certainly Pilgrim and Crabtree will be two players that are going to that event. I'm not sure whether Stubbs or Ball will be, but certainly Crabtree playing here in his windmill dart shirt. Well, it wasn't official at the time this was recorded, but he has signed for them. And uh, quite remarkable, really, because he was averaging 45 on my stream not so long ago. So, uh, great to see. It is Stubbs and Ball, however, who have got down to a two-dark combination. Early doors here, treble 20 or treble 16, the target. But Stubbs and Ball leave tops, and it's 100 needed for Crabtree and Stubbs will be back for that. Stubbs the left hander wants tops, nails it at the first time of asking, great start. Good solid hold of throw there, Terry Stubbs of course will be well known in the South of England for being a very accomplished player. Enjoyed a run to the last 32 of the World Masters just a couple of years ago. Beat Paul Hogan on the way to uh, that excellent run which earned him a spot on the TV and taking on Wayne Warren. And he's currently fourth in the Berkshire Super League averages. But Pilgrim and Crabtree looking to get off the mark here and are in a strong position early doors in this second leg. It's a lovely venue, uh, Chalvey WMC. Do pay a visit if you're ever in the region. So this is the stage area you can see here. There's also five uh, other boards. Uh, you can see one of them in the background. It's a lovely cover shot from Crabtree, gets them down to a finish and they'll have at least six darts from there, whatever ball throws here. It was a good visit from him. So it could go through treble 17s, there's one of them. Another one would have left tops, so options. And Crabtree will have a go have a chance to take out 60. Just trying to work out what darts the stubs are throwing there. Those look like, I want to say, variation of Whitlocks, possibly, if I had to guess. Double 10 for Crabtree. Gets it one apiece in this first of four contest, so it's quite rapid fire. And there are 19 pairs taking part in this particular tournament. Stubbs starts with a treble in that visit to kick us off in this third leg. 
Well, certainly a big few weeks upcoming for Pilgrim and Crabtree. Both will certainly be going into the UK version of Q School with very high hopes indeed. Crabtree went to Q School for the first time last year, but is certainly a much improved player since then, so he will certainly be looking to make at least the second stage of that. Pilgrim has got very close before and it's with darts like that that uh, has really put him up there amongst the contenders uh, for those that we in contention for a card. Pilgrim, a regular of course, on the Modus Super Series. So 90 plays 217. Pilgrim and Crabtree have essentially stolen the throw here. It's a great last dart from Stubbs, but I'll just have to hope this doesn't go. So 90, you start on the 20s. Has to switch now. Wants double 16. It was a good recovery. Never nice to hit the one on the 90 with the first dart. Great second dart. 136 won't go. Ball also plays for Slough's Super League team and Berkshire County B, 30th at the moment in the Super League averages. Crabtree wants, well he wants another double eight. Well, that's a great recovery, fantastic recovery. Probably having a chuckle. <laughs> it's the only way to go, isn't it? Two double eights with 32, surely? Look at that lovely first dart from Pilgrim. He's in again, after hitting a 180 in that last leg, which really changed the complexion of that leg. And Pilgrim is very much a Christmas quiz answer because he will forever be known as the player that is the top of the dark necked averages for the Pro Tour and the Challenge Tour. Now, granted, in the Pro Tour, we only played one game. Uh, but he played 58 in the challenge tour, so it uh, just goes to show. Can, uh, can maintain a very high level indeed. He was very close to winning a tour card in 2020. He was one point off. It's a good last start there. He was one point away from, from winning a card on that occasion. He went, made stage two earlier this year but didn't really feature in the in the mix so he'll be looking to put that right this time and certainly know that there is attention on him that's a lovely visit from Crabtree they're down to 68 after 12 it's impressive stuff what kind of pressure will they be under but ball Good thinking there. It does leave the big fish. I still haven't seen a big fish on my channel. I hope to at some point. We might not see an opportunity. Oh no, we will. He thought that Pilgrim was going to nail that double four, but Stubbs wants 170. It won't go. So Crabtree will be back for double two for a 16 dart leg. And to hold their throw. Build up from there. Double one won't go. So the outside opportunity here. Need to switch to treble 18 to leave the double. Ball just struggled on that one. Double two. Pilgrim. Last chance. He does nail it. 20 dart leg. Hold a throw. Could have been a 16. Uh, Pilgrim and Crabtree won't care because they're over the line in that one and they're now within one leg of booking their place in the next round in this competition. It's the first round contest so they'll be looking to progress through the rounds. They will be taking on Connor Scutt, tour card holder, and Darren Clark In the next round, that's who awaits the winner of this contest. A bit more information on 
Kevin Crabtree, Development Tour semi-finalist this year. Comfortably made the World Youth Championship. Uh, qualifying for that competition, which is no mean feat. And of course, he's also been playing on the Challenge Tour as well, so he's been very busy. And uh, hit that nine data in the Development Tour. And that's allegedly one of the uh, main reasons why Windmill's picked him up, you would imagine. It certainly caught the eye. Bilby and Crabtree with a 60 point advantage here. But these are very good from Ball. Great darts. That's all of them. You can hear the uh, ping of the machine. It's one of those old school scorers. Scoring machines with all the tablets. But yeah, great darts from Ball. That's why he is a regular in the county team. And Stubbs and Ball will be back for that 107, but they will be under a bit of pressure here. As a 137 from Pilgrim, so now definitely a lot of pressure here on this 107. Tops needed. Great attempt from Ball. It's Crabtree. Well, you can potentially take out the win here. Double double. That was very, very close. Very close and a very good attempt at that. So double ten. Four stubs. Needs to adjust. Can't get there. So more match darts incoming here. For Pilgrim. Double eighteen. He loves double eighteen, you feel? And he does get there. Well, there we go. Pilgrim and Crabtree so up a 4-1 victory there over Terry Stubbs and Alex Ball. And then we through to the next round. Thank you very much for watching, as always.